Hello. Welcome to day 10 of our 23 Days with God. Before we get started looking at God's omniscience today, uh, let's just take a moment and reflect on this passage of Scripture. One of my favorite types of movies is the kind with a twist you can't see coming. Whether it's the boy who sees dead people in the sixth sense, or wondering who is Kaiser Sose in The Usual Suspects, or whether Eisenheim's magic is real in The Illusionist. I love those movies. And watching movies with a twist really can only be done once, because once you know the twist, you see it through the entire movie. Rewatching those films is really only fun with people who haven't seen them yet. If you've made it to day 10, you've looked at several aspects of God, and you've heard others talk about a negative approach to understanding God, meaning we understand what God is like by looking at what he's not like. He has no origin. He has no beginning. God requires no helpers. God suffers no change and has no limitations. The Bible uses this negative approach too. Isaiah says that God does not faint or grow weary. Paul says God cannot lie. And when we say that God is omniscient, listing everything he does know would take quite a bit. But let's try. God knows instantly and effortlessly all matter and all matters, all mind and all minds, all creaturehood and all creatures, all law and every law, all relations, all causes, results, mysteries, feelings, desires, every unuttered secret. God knows all thrones and dominions, all personalities, all motion, space, time, life, death, good, evil. God knows everything and always has. I think the attraction of movies with a twist is that we like discovering the story behind the story, and so much of our experience in life is like that, isn't it? We think that some person or some company or some government is one way for years and then find out some information that changes what we thought or understood about them. If we're honest, we've even held a part of us back from those around us, our feelings, some fact, a sin, a desire, and we do this from politeness or shame or even efforts to control the narrative to achieve our own ends. The fact that God is omniscient, that he knows each person through and through, could cause fear to someone with something to hide. God sees right through our flimsy pretexts and never accepts our excuses for sinful conduct because God knows perfectly and completely the real reasons and motivations behind it. Just like Adam in the garden, we so often try to hide in the bushes from an omniscient God. And just like Adam, we realize, where can I go from your spirit, Lord? Where can I flee from your presence? To you, the darkness of night is like day. God knows. For those of us who have placed faith in Jesus and accepted his righteousness as our own, how sweet is the knowledge that God loves us completely and knows. That God isn't surprised by some sin in the future or our past. That no enemy can make accusations stick that God wasn't already aware of and didn't already pay for on the cross. No weakness of our character, No skeleton deep in a closet could ever turn our Heavenly Father away from us because he knew us utterly before we knew him, before our sin, before we ever even existed. 
Paul in Ephesians 1 says, For he chose us in him before the creation of the world, and in love he predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ in accordance with his pleasure and will. There's no plot twist in your life that will ever surprise God. God knows and knew about the sudden loss of a job. God knows and knew about your illness or the death of someone close to you. God knows and knew about your failures and sin. God knows this and loves you so much. Our brief time on earth is full of twists and turns for us, but never for God. Live today secure that God has you, that he knows everything about you, and that he is perfectly in control of your life and your future. Pray with me. Lord, you know all things. You know my sitting down, my standing up, and all my ways. I can inform you of nothing and hide nothing from you. Help me today to put away all worry because you know all things and I know you. In Jesus' name, amen.